Hello everyone and welcome back to the Chariot series, myself Crystal the Rocket, and here we are with the Jaeger mech of the trifecta of Innisphere Heavies. So, uh, as you can tell through this, I've been going through a num numerous heavies trying to find a build that works. This one, I have to admit, I couldn't find a record sheets for or a definitive layout. But, this is one of the Jaeger mech variants that, much like a Centurion later on, actually had a 5 ton increase in weight. So this went up to being 70 tons. The Jaeger Mech 7G uh, had a focus on using newer tech uh, to beef up its uh, firepower potential. And uh, the 7G includes two rotary twos, two LB twos, and two ER mediums. And I'm going to guess that the ER mediums were split between each side torso, but there's just as high a possibility it was two centre torso mounted uh, lasers like that. And I'm not sure. So if someone does know, uh, let me know in the comments and I will update the description to say that it's supposed to be in the CT. But, um, I just took a, a random stab at the Pope in the dark and uh, this is what I think it's supposed to be. Uh, as I said, uh, the only book reference I could find for it was the ERA Report 2750 and that didn't give any kind of layout for the mech unfortunately. So I'm not sure specifically where this thing is supposed to have the lasers. But the rest of the, the weaponry is right, it just might not 100% be in the right place. So technically this might not count uh, in the Chariot series if, uh, if I was going strictly by my own rules. But I did want to do a Jaeger mech, I would have also done a Thunderbolt, but I couldn't. Uh, there's just no single Thunderbolt variants that fit. Because a bunch of them either have ECM or head mounted lasers. Which there are no head mounted lasers in Thunderbolts and there's no ECM either. So. Uh, that was that one kind of scuppered. The only other variant that could have been done was one that went, made the large to an ER large and the SRM2 to a streak. So basically a standard Thunderbolt with slight, ever so slightly different weapons. So yeah, kind of sucks. I would have loved to have done the Thunderbolt at some point. But uh, yeah, there's just there was no ability, unfortunately. Um, which is why I decided to do the three uh, separate Inner heavies here, because those are all variants that could work. And uh, this is a surprisingly fun and effective build of the Jaeger mech. It has a relatively, uh, on the face of it, a relatively low output for damage. But MechWarrior Lion and the tabletop work in very, very different circles, obviously. Real-time combat does put an emphasis more so on DPS rather than, you know, direct damage in a, you know, uh, from an AC-20, for instance. Having an AC-2 that can rapidly plink at a target as you move into range, rather than having to wait to get into range just to fire one uh, shot for 20 damage, especially with the hit reg in this game at times, does mean that actually the game is more optimised for lots of smaller weapons hitting rapidly than having single big weapons, say like PPCs and the like, doing big chunks of damage at a slower rate. Uh, this is evident with pretty much any of the weapon systems, why LRM 20s aren't as popular as 10s and 15s, or even 5s at times. Uh, obviously, PPCs being dropped in favour of things like pulse lasers that are lighter and can fire more quickly. Uh, having entire heavy mechs filled in with small pulse lasers, for instance, or ER smalls, or uh, micro lasers. All of these things do help. And this is a build that on tabletop, if you encountered it, you wouldn't be too worried because, yeah, it, it's you know, it's four ballistics, but it's only doing two damage per shot, and damage generally spreads because it's all based on die rolls. In MWO, however, this thing is brutal. Uh, it's got four, uh, four ton of ammo for the uh, rotaries, and oh no, four ton of ammo for the LB2s, so three ton of ammo for the rotaries, and I think a couple like an extra heatsink, and the armor is nearly max. It's also running on XL engine, which is probably the only negative caveat of the build, is that if you do get isolated and um, Jaeger Max do have big side torsos, uh, this would mean uh, a bit of trouble. But yeah, this is a, this was later on in like the 30s, late 3060s, early 3070s, where some Inner Sphere, not all, uh, mechs got a, a slight kind of weight update, so uh, there was a couple of 70-ton uh, Jaeger Max that uh, made it um, sort of made the the cut as far as uh, new variants were con uh, concerned, and uh, it was basically to improve its survivability on the field because the idea was supposed to be newer mechs were coming out, and these these new designs were to you know keep the company's production lines going, and as such, it meant that 
technically it's a new mech in a way. Uh, I guess at, at an extra 5 ton it should technically be referred to as like a Jaeger mech 2 more than just the Jaeger mech uh, because of the increased weight. Um, it should be the same with the Centurion as well, though it goes from 50 to 55, but yeah, there's not many variants, but they do exist, and it's. Uh, yeah, it's very good. Obviously, the Eggermax is great strength, but it's high mounted uh, ballistic hard points in the arms, and the s not too bad uh, positioning of the lasers in the torsos. As I said, even if they were in the CT, it'd still have roughly the same height anyway. But uh, they're pure backup. You're relying entirely on your ballistics on this thing. Uh, you can build this off the Eggermax Double D, I believe. And um, yeah. That's it, and I, I did say in a previous video, I think this is my all-time greatest damage that I've ever had in MechWarrior Online. And uh, there it is. Absolutely crazy amount of damage. But that wraps up uh, the uh, Innisfear Heavies for a while. We're going to be going back over to the clans, uh, as we go into the credits here. So, uh, yeah, I'll be doing... Um, I, I'm going to do, like, I think I'll do the Nova Cat next. So, until then, have a good week all. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Bye, 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 trying to click stop.